Welcome back to the channel everyone. In today's video, I want to go over how to install AutoHead on a jailbroken PS4 for system software 12.02. The process is fairly simple and fairly easy, and it should only take you guys but a few minutes to get everything up and running. Before you begin the process, you are going to need a Google Drive account, as well as a fresh copy of your Artemis game save, and then you need to download all of the necessary files in the description box, and then you should be good to go to begin the process. So the very first thing you want to do is go on your Google Drive account. You're going to create three folders, one that says PS4, one that says save data zero, and the third folder that says SC underscore SYS. Once that's done, you're going to highlight all three folders, click on the three dots. You're going to go to share, share again, and then what you're going to do where it says general access, you're going to select viewer, and then on the left hand side, you're going to select anyone with this link. And what should happen is that all three of the folders that you just created should have that same settings below it. And if it does, you're good to go. You're going to simply press done. Then at this point here, what we are going to do is click inside of the PS4 folder. And once you're inside, you're going to right click on the mouse and you're going to hit file upload. And then what we are going to do is go to our fresh save that we just created click inside of that save and we're going to copy the save data and the save data bin to the ps4 folder on google drive as you guys can see in the background i'm going to do that right now and it should upload the files once you're done you're going to simply just go and click on my drive to go back to the home screen on google drive since the save is 100 megabytes we're going to give it a couple of more seconds for it to upload i have very fast internet speed so pretty much everything should not take that long to do the same as far as downloading it once everything is said and done that's going to take a while as you guys can see everything is done i'm going to click on my drive and then at this point i'm going to go to the ps4 folder but on the right hand side i'm going to click on the three dots select share and copy link now from here what we are going to do is go on discord and use the save bot to decrypt our save if you need the link to the Discord server for the save bot, it will be in the description below. As you guys can see in the background, this is the Discord server that has the save bot. And pretty much it's fairly simple, fairly easy to use as far as decrypting your save. The very first thing you want to do once you get onto the server is simply click where it says HTO in that thread. And then at that point, if you scroll down, you will see three save bots that you can use to decrypt your save. Now, the one that everyone is using is the PS bot because that's the most reliable one. And you're simply just going to press on get started. And as you guys can see on the left hand side of the page under HTO, a new thread will open. Mine says G money underscore 212 and it has a number one. And you're going to click inside of there. And at this point, what you can do is give a command to the bot to decrypt your save. The command that you're going to press in the message box is forward slash D and then you're going to select decrypt. You're going to select true and then you're going to press enter or your keyboard. Then you should get a message in the box below. And then from here, as you guys can see, we need to copy the link to our PS4 folder inside the message box. As you guys can see in the background, I'm going to do that right now. And then once you do that, you're just simply going to press enter. And then from here, the bot will do its work. And what should happen is that once the bot is done, it should give you a link to download your decrypted save. As you can see in the background, the bot is still in process. It says one out of two. Typically, this can take anywhere from one to three minutes to complete. All you got to do is just be patient and let the bot do its work. As you can see in the background, it's almost done. Like I said to you guys before, this is pretty much the easy part. Nothing too crazy, nothing too complicated. As you can see, it's batching out the decrypted save. And after this, it should give me the link. And then it said successful. And then, like I said, it should pop up with a link saying, there it is, my decrypted save. And you're just going to download this. And then, like I said, we're going to extract this onto our computer. Once we extract the decrypted save, then we are going to go back on Google Drive. From there, what we are going to do is select our save data zero folder and click inside. And then we're going to do the same process again. Right click on our mouse, select file upload, 
And from here, we are going to go to our download folder, to the decrypted save, and we're gonna click inside of that. And everything that you see that I'm doing in the background, we're gonna upload to Google Drive. As you guys can see, once that's done, then we are going to do the same process again. This time around, we are going to go back inside the download folder and we are going to select the auto lure loader main and we're going to upload those files onto our Google Drive inside of our save data zero folder. This should only take about a couple of seconds to do as well. As you guys can see in the background, I'm just selecting all of the necessary files and I'm just going to upload it right now. If you get this message here, don't worry about that. Just hit upload anyway. And then from here, I'm just going to wait for all of the files to upload. I'll just take a couple of seconds. As you guys can see in the background, the work is being done. Now at that point, I'm going to hit my drive and I'm going to go inside of the folder that says SCE underscore SYS. Then from here, I'm going to select my download folder and I'm going to go back inside the decrypted save. Then I'm going to go where it says SCE underscore SYS and I'm going to copy all of these files and upload it to my Google Drive account, which says SCE underscore SYS. This should only take a second to upload. And once I'm done, I'm going to go back to my drive. Then from here, what we are going to do is go back on Discord and we are going to use the save bot to encrypt our save. As you guys can see in the background, just simply press forward slash E and then we're going to select encrypt. Then we're going to select false. Then we're going to select true. Then from here, we're going to select PlayStation ID. From here, you have two options available to you. You can simply put in your profile name off your console, or if you're like me who been on PSN at least one time and you activated your account, you can go to your save management tool when you copy the save and go to your save and then you can get your profile ID and put that in instead. So I'm going to go back onto my computer. I'm going to go on my USB flash drive, as you guys can see in the background. Then I'm going to go to save data inside of the save data folder. You should see my profile ID, which is a 7A1. I'm going to copy that. Then I'm going to go back on Discord and where it says PlayStation ID, I'm going to paste in my profile ID and hit enter. You should get an error message. At this point, you're going to go where it says message and you're going to put in your profile ID one more time, press enter. And then at this point, if everything is all good, it should ask you for your encrypted save. I'm gonna go back on Google Drive to my PlayStation 4 folder, copy that link, go back on Discord, paste in that link and press enter. And I'm going to wait a few seconds. I should get another message. And then for this message, it's gonna ask me for my save data zero folder. So I'm going to have to go back on Google Drive. And then at this point, I'm going to do the same process again, get the actual link. And then once I get the link, I'm going to go back on Discord. As you guys can see in the background, I'm doing it now. And then I'm going to go with message, paste that in, press enter with a couple of seconds and another message to pop up. As you guys can see in the background, it now says retrieve files two out of 31. We are going to wait for this to finish. And once this is done, you should see another message that pops up for us to upload our SCE underscore SYS files from off of Google Drive. And then at that point, we are at 90% almost done. And we're simply just going to press enter. Now, right now with the retrieve files, it takes a couple of seconds, maybe a minute or two for it to complete. And then after that, we are smooth sailing. And that is pretty much it. it doesn't take that long to do the process. If you do it a couple of times, it's just going to be easier for you guys to do. As you guys can see in the background, the retrieve files are almost done. And then at this point, we should get a message that says for us to upload our SCE underscore SYS files from off our Google Drive. And there you go. I'm going to go back on and get the link. And then at this point, go back on Discord paste this in in the message box and then we are pretty much good to go then from here we should see a new link for us to download our encrypted save and basically what should happen is that you go inside of your usb flash drive 
and you are going to replace the data inside of the save data folder for your Artemis game with the one that was generated by the save bot, which is the encrypted save. As you guys can see in the background, I'm going to do that right now. Then once that's done, all you need to do is go to your download folder and copy 10 12.00 up to 12.02 onto the root of your USB flash drive. And then once that's done, we are going to rename pen to payload.bin. And then at that point, we are simply going to take the USB flash drive, go back over to our PS4 console, copy our save back onto the console. And what's going to happen at that point while it's copying the save is also going to save the payload bin to our console so that when we run the Artemis game automatically it's going to do the full jailbreak offline with no internet and you're good to go and then at that point you can simply go to settings check your debug settings make sure everything is there and then that's it if you have any questions just simply leave a comment I'll reply within a few hours to answer your question and then you should be good to go now at this point I'm going to show you guys as far as me doing it on my console and then at that point like i said you can always hit me up if you guys got any questions but as always i thank you guys for watching my video supporting my channel and i will get up with you guys later peace